15 years she has been with us. She's an author, she's an interior designer, decorator, sewer expert, costumes, you name it, she does it. And she's a really good friend of ours here, I have thank to say. You, so good to see you here. I am so you excited. You look adorable. Well, thank you. When you can sew, you can customize your wardrobe. And I'm here to celebrate with you the final countdown. Can you believe it? To the end it? of the party for National Sewing Month. And we're so excited. We have brought something for everyone. Mm -hmm. We have nine machines to show over the next, I don't know, wow. 24 hours. And I'm really excited to share that with you. We're going to start with entry level. We're going to start with this. Awesome. It is a dial -a stitch machine. It's called the Talent. And you're going to feel like you got a little talent when you're using this machine because with 23 dial of stitches, both in black and blue, the black are functional and decorative, the blue are stretch and utilitarian, and then you have an auto-sized one-step buttonholer. Now this is the stitch length directly above it. S is for stretch zone, and there's another buttonhole graphic then moving on to the top of the machine you're going to notice the stitch width which goes to six millimeters wide horizontal thread spool pin that means there's never any drag or pull on the thread now there is a second auxiliary pin that you can utilize for twin needle top stitching but remember if you use this one mainly you know all the old-fashioned machines had a vertical pin and when they sew sometimes they backlash and they get tangled around the pin so you always want to look for a horizontal spool pin second thing you want to look for down here is that top loading drop-in bobbin remember those old-fashioned machines Rachel and you had to open it up go inside and take out one of those bobbin holders and then thread that and then thread the oh my gosh it felt like you needed a degree <laughs> to thread the machine now you just drop it in so first thing I want to show you is how to do a um, a rolled hem and a rolled hem starts really easy you just simply fold it well, well we'll start like this you fold the fabric over once and you press it with your finger and then you fold it over again and you stick it under the presser foot and what I'm gonna do is stitch right onto the edge where it's folded. Now I have a little reverse stitch here so you can reinforce the beginning and ending of that seam. And again, you just, now this is a, a finish that you'll use on napkins, tablecloths. You might use it on a table runner. You'll definitely be using this on your jeans or uh -huh. your sports clothes. Now when you come to a corner though, you'll wanna make a little, a little triangle on the corner. And then I'm taking the next side and rolling it once. Rolling it twice, and what do you get? A gorgeous a mitered corner. Co a mitered <laughs> corner. And that is a perfect finish because when it's mitered, let me get the needle in there, you lift, you turn, you keep sewing, and I'll show you what that looks like. When you have a mitered corner, there's no edge like this sticking up or poking out. It's gorgeous. It's mitered. And that's how the pros do it. And it's a little easy tip for me to use. So if you're just starting out, Cut out some pieces of fabric. You've got curtains in the in the attic. You've probably got extra table covers you're not using anymore. And all maybe extra sheets that don't fit the bed anymore. Use those to practice with. Get your machine out, thread mm -hmm. it. It takes about six seconds to thread. Dial the stitch you want to practice with and just go mm -hmm. and see what you can do. Now this machine does the 23 built-in patterns that I mentioned earlier, and I want to show you what they are. Functional, straight, zigzags, utilitarian, stretch knits. You've got your blind hems, your cross stitches, your satin stitches, a couple of those, and then quilting patterns, including the feather stitch and the joining stitch. Look at all those. Plus, there's that one-step auto-sized buttonholer. So, you know what? This is way more hmm. than what a beginner needs, but you'll grow into it. It is our entry-level sewing machine in the entire Singer lineup. When I had a costume business for 15 years, my sewing machine did a straight a zigzag and a blind hem and one overcast. It only had five stitches on it. This has 23 stitches on it. When I started showing sewing machines here 15 years ago, the sewing machine that was 149, the entrance level machine, not only did it have that oscillating bobbin, it had only a straight and a zigzag, and it was 149. So okay. I'm telling you, you, you're getting so much value. Let's take a look at the extra feet. The feet that you're getting as included accessories, then we give you bonus added accessories. Check it out. The buttonhole opener, an auxiliary spool pin. You're getting bobbin spools and spool pin caps, extra needles, and a feed cover plate. You'll figure out what all these things are for as you use the machine. The standard foot the one-step buttonholer foot, wow. a quilt guide so you can make grids. You're getting a sew, cut, and hem foot so you get the look of a serger without that expensive price tag. Zipper and piping foot, 
And then, as if that wasn't enough, four more feet. A foot for gathering, attaching buttons, free motion, thread painting, mm. freehand monogram, stippling, and even feed for all of your quilting needs. So now, you'll have the feet that you need as you grow when you sew, you'll have the feet <laughs> to accommodate all of the new functions and features. Now, you just saw me stitch straight um, on the, what did I, what did I stitch first of You all? just did the corner. Oh, thanks, did yes, I did a minor corner. Because I was in okay, awe. The <laughs> now, that was a straight. What if you have a stretch knit and you sew a straight stitch? Well, let me show you what happens. Here's a stretch knit, and there's a straight stitch, and you take it off, and you go to wear it, and you bend over to pick, uh-oh, oh. to pick up the cat, oh, I, or the I baby, mm -hmm. or the dog, and, and look what like, happened. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> but don't worry. And if that's why some of you Diet don't time. sew, right? <laughs> no. It's stretch knit. We live in these kind of clothes with, with a life where you're so silly. <laughs> Well, let me show you how you can fix that with this machine without going on a diet. Okay, watch this. Singer to the rescue. Singer is to the rescue. So I was in the regular stitching zone and the black stitch, but now I'm going over to the blue stitch, which represents a stretch stitch. So all I have to do is take my stitch length dial and move it around and around and around. And yes, S means singer, but it also stands for stretch. My best so friend. So now I'm in the stretch zone. So now we'll re sew that seam. And you will be absolutely impressed with knowing your seam isn't going to pop absolutely. when you pick up the Thank grocery you, bag. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you can bend till the cows come home. <laughs> that is so great. And look, it's not gathering. It is perfection. I am blown away. I have to say I'm blown away at the price, at everything you are showing on this. The fact, you know, we call this the basic. I've, and I love that you say this is so beyond basic. You don't have to be intimidated. That's what I love because I am not a sewer, but every time I get here, I think I can do this. Yes. I can do this. It's not intimidating and it's about fun. Let's face it, to get this home with free shipping. And by the way, we are in countdown mode. Last couple of days, the flex pay goes away, the free shipping goes away, and hello, the price goes back up. So look at what Darlene hey, just did. Please don't tell me it's going to pop. No Yay, popping. no dieting necessary. No there popping, we go. because this was That's great. A stretch straight stitch, and you're going to get a variety of stretch stitch patterns, even ones that do overcasting while you're stitching. Wow. And if you want to use that sew, cut, and serge foot, then you'll get the look of a serger, and on the outside, it looks like a regularly sewn seam, but you've got that wearability built in. That will withstand the washings, the wearings, and all of the, uh, you know, wear and tear of everyday life. And that's what you, ha what you have to put up with when you're working on garment sewing. Now, if you like to do quilting, you'll also enjoy this machine. It's a great machine for starter quilting. Yeah, we just had a quilter last hour, too. And by the way, call us. Oh, good. If you are using any of these, live chat with us. Listen, we have the expert right here. So live chat, testimonial call, and so again, quilting, it's perfect. Yes, and this is, this is a watercolor quilt, and I love to start out with these with the My Beginner Sewers because they're so easy. You can do a quilt in a day, literally, and it's not intimidating. You buy this grid that's already uh, has markings on it, then you iron on your pieces of fabric. You can see where the, the, um, ah. the, the quilt is underneath that fabric. But then you just simply stitch all oh, your north-south lines, then you stitch all your east-west lines, and then what you did, it looks like, wow, you lined up those corners sure perfectly. Does. <laughs> sure does. And you does. think, yes, I sure did. <laughs> With my new talent machine, aren't I a great quilter? I mean, but it is a way to do quilting. It's yeah. a great way to get that sense of satisfaction because you know what? When you're starting out, who wants to be bogged down with a big project that's, that's, that's beyond what your level of expertise is. Mm -hmm. Work on things that you can accomplish quickly so you can build your confidence because it's that sense of satisfaction when you complete a project and you're happy with it that's going to keep you sewing. So mm -hmm. we want to get you started and then we want to help keep you sewing. We want you to go to hsn.com, take a look at my blog and yes. we have projects and tips and tricks from the last four years that you can look at on hsn.com. And, and then you can also catch me on Facebook if you have any questions or concerns about any product. And that's, and speaking of tips, uh, so Diva on our live chat loves the tips that oh. you give Darlene. So I oh, agree. Nice. That's why Thank I used to, you. if you hear me just kind of my mouth opening, that's why I'm <laughs> looking and I think, my goodness, because it is easy, but to get this home today, this is the time to do it because the free shipping is today. 
that's huge. You know, I look at this free shipping. That's what eighteen dollars or so. They, I mean, this is this is a machine. It's huge to get this home. That's on us for the month. Okay, that's under fifteen dollars free shipping on us. It's a flexible payment, so you can get this home with one flexible payment. Try it out, see what you think. And again, it is a fifty dollar price savings on sale. The final couple of days that we will honor this, and again after that, price goes back up, flex pay goes away, and we tack on the shipping and handling again. Uh -oh. So go ahead and give us a buzz. And now what are you doing there that well, is very autumnal and beautiful? And uh, thank you. I was decorative. taking advantage of our free arm. A free Well, okay, no problem. This well, is a free arm. All right. And a free arm is the ability to sew collars, cuffs, sleeves. Um, sh uh, let's see, hems, anything round, booty. See, I can put this hem of the slacks right over here oh, and yeah, yeah. stitch. So if you want to embellish the bottom of a pair of slacks, like as I just did, this is a great first project. So here's some capris, because we're still in Florida. It's not really that cold yet True. here. True. But anyway, you can do this on jeans as well. And just stitch some flat fold fabric on the bottom. And then make make a matching waistband. Look, what a cu how cute. No, that's adorable. How cute is that? And you have a little pair of pants. And these are the kind of things that you can get the kids involved with. They go to the oh, store so with cute. you. They pick out the fabric that they like. They have ownership over that, you know. Yeah. And they cut it out. And they help and watch you sew. And maybe you keep sharing responsibilities. But that mitered corner I told you about was was an example from this little waistband right here to be able to sew little belts that you can use along the waist and tie in a with a pretty mitered corner you'll be able to do that with the rolled hem foot and then with the um, free arm you'll be able to sew all of your pants and collars and cuffs and things of that nature and you know again when you think about the sense of pride and the sense of ownership to be able to do things like that, that is huge. And again, the fashion statement, whether you want to go ahead and do all of your fashions, the interior design, whether you are just starting out or I love what Darlene was saying, this will grow right along with you. This is the time to do it. And I was thinking too, from the holiday standpoint, to be able to give the gifts that you do. I remember my mom used to do towels and decorative accents and embroidery and things like that. And it means so much to be able to give those things. So whether you are a budding designer, tailor, seamstress, whatever it might be, you are able to do these things. And I love always kind of doing these panoramics that we show that Darlene does because these are all of the fruits of the labor. And people feel so unbelievable when you give these fabulous gifts. And that's what they are. So if you are thinking, and even if it's something simple like little guest towels and hand towels and things like that, that says a lot. And especially as we go into this time of year with the holiday season from placemats and linens and little tea towels and things like that. Mm -hmm. People will ask, okay, well, where did you buy something? This? You can say, bought. Honey, I did this. So that's <laughs> kind of, you know, a wonderful sense of pride. And little bits, of, you know, are on, um, you know, my, my mother-in-law always has, you know, the little letters yes. on pillowcases and things like that. And it's special when you see those to see your yeah. initials and things. You feel so good. And we're having guests come over. That's right. a wonderful way, you know, to see your initials. And it's something so simple. But it means a lot. It does, indeed. In fact, yeah. I want to show you that buttonhole really quickly. I've got a cup. I just realized how where time is. We pull this buttonhole activator down, and it says push. So push it towards the back. Then it's pedal to the metal. And let's see, six millimeter wide for our stitch width. And we are off to the races. Darling, what were options before the buttonholes? You would just have to do them. Do you oh see my her God. eyes? <laughs> Eyes got biggest saucers. Options before the buttonholer. <laughs> Options before no, buttonholer. Hmm. Well, there were these big giant buttonholers that you needed a screwdriver to attach, and then you had individual cams for the individual sizes. That was way back when. And it and took forever to took do. Took forever. But uh -huh. even even on that 17 stitch function that I sold here yeah. 15 years ago, you had to make, you had to do a bar tack, then you had to do a narrow satin stitch and scooch it over to the left and do one side, then a bar tack again, and then a satin stitch, and then scooch it over to the left and go backwards. It, it, that's oh, how you would geez. have to, and it took a lot of practice. Now, oh, this does it automatically for you, mm -hmm. which makes it so nice. I mean, really, every time there's a new um, foot in technology in the way of sewing or a new feature on a machine, yep. it's awesome because it trickles down to even the beginner models. And this is what you're seeing here today. You're seeing some fabulous features 
on an entry level machine that you mm -hmm. normally wouldn't mm -hmm. see. I mean, I challenge mm -hmm. you to find an all metal machine. It's metal on the inside. Of course, this casing is not. And then you've got the top loading drop in bobbin and the horizontal spool pin. These are things that are so important with the dial a stitch technology. And that, that dial a stitch mechanical is so great because it's so user friendly. And Absolutely. I'm going to dial a um, overcasting stitch right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going into my stretch zone, six millimeters wide. Love Always that make zone. sure that you can clear because what I want to do is sew, cut, and finish off the seam all in one step. Notice I didn't get out a screwdriver to put this foot on, by the way. Yes. I snapped it into place. Not all of them do that. You'll appreciate the ease of use that you'll get with this machine. You'll also appreciate, listen, you're not hearing anything clunky. You're not hearing metal grinding. Thing? It's cutting. It's sewing. Oh, look and at that. it's finishing off a seam all in oh, one step. Oh, my word. Well, live chatter Sabrina look. says, this makes me want to sew. Oh. I say that every time, Sabrina. <laughs> I'm with you. That that's great. And you know what? Why not? Why not give it a give this life skill a try? It's like saying, I want to cook. I want to learn yes. to clean yes. and make my house look impeccable. I want to learn to yeah. garden. I mean, these are all life skills that we all should have. I think every mm -hmm. home in America needs to have a sewing machine. This one is, is friendly for the... Um, the creative genius that lies dormant in most of us, mm -hmm. I think practically all of us. You see the beautiful scrolling on the front. It is easy to dial the stitches, and it comes with the auxiliary spool pin and a built-in carrying handle. It weighs about 14 pounds. It's nice and light. You can take it anywhere. If you um, have weekend projects you want to take to a girlfriend's house, you can do that. For quilting, it has the blind hem stitch, so you can do blind hem quilting. You can do edge joining. You'll be able to do your piecework as well as all your stippling and uh, free motion. So you have a lot of options with this machine. Absolutely. And another live chatter. I love all the live chats. Jessica says she learned on a singer just like this. She learned how to sew. Oh, so fantastic. Good for you. That's terrific. So thanks for all the live chats. Keep them coming. We'll take your testimonials also. Speaking of uh, the live blog or the, the uh, blog, you can head on over to Darlene's blog here. And again, she has all kinds of great tips. She has all kinds of fabulous, fabulous ideas. And you definitely want to check that out right there. And that is on hsn.com, okay? All right, so stick around. We have more here. But here is a spotlight with Angie. And then come on back because we have more. Don't go anywhere.